I bid you good day, everybody. What is poppin'? It is your host, Matt from Disorder Vapes. Quick disclaimer, um, nothing is for sale. I do not condone the use of nicotine products and I'm a trained professional. So let's go ahead and get into this. This is gonna be a review of a new pod system. This is the Oxva Slim Pro 2, number two, number dos. Now I got this in the deep purple way color here. Just gonna be going through the specifications, um, a little breakdown of the unboxing, and then I'm gonna be going over my experience, not just my initial taste test, um, but I'm gonna be filming this over the next couple of weeks just to you know showcase my personal experience with this product um, and how it performs over time, all right? So a quick thing that stood out to me, 1300 milliamp battery in this pod system that is absolutely massive. So I'm hoping that this uh, lasts me for a long time. Um, now I'm using the Slim Series pods. They're up to two milliliters or you can put two milliliters worth of e-juice in there. They come with a 0.6 and a 0.8 ohm mesh coil pods on the inside. Now let's unbox this take it out. Now these instructions I find are really nice because not only does it show you right here on the package, but you long press for the operating guide. Um, you know, you don't even need the instructions. It literally tells you how many clicks to do all these different functions, which I don't have a good memory. So that is really nice for me. But we're going to take it out here. A nice USB-C cord for recharging in the nice red colorway. We get a lanyard as well. And then and then we get the 0.8 ohm pod on the inside. I'm gonna be using that because in my travels, I got this secret tiramisu eju. So I'm gonna be putting it in there. I like a tighter mouth to lung draw. So I like the 0.8 ohm pod personally. And we take the device out. Look at this nice shiny purple colorway. It's not even a fingerprint magnet. It's very slick. I like that shininess to it. By the way, the device is pure auto draw only. So the button on the side just changes the functions, but we got a one click to wake the device up. We got two clicks to switch the display. Kind of got a shooting star thing there. We get a little swirly emoji, and then we got a light up kind of RGB bar on the bottom there in that mode. To adjust the wattage, pretty easy, three clicks and then just another click and you kind of round robins all the way to 30 watts. Even though I've been vaping for years, I like a simple, a simple device. <laughs> Something easy for me to understand. Now, right off the back, I prefer top fill pods. This one kind of has a little rubber rinky dink on the side there um, for filling up the pod. So not my favorite, but that is what it is. It's simple enough. And we will slap that back in. 17 watts, nothing on the puff counter. I'm gonna go halfway on the airflow, recharge port on the bottom. Um, so here I go, I'm gonna give this a try, initial taste test, and then I will update you on how it goes throughout the week. Mm. Super duper smooth. Mm. Oh yeah, good tasting pods. Really brings out the flavor of the e-juice. I'm liking that. The hit on it is very plush, very a very compact hit. Easy money, easy money. Tapering the airflow all the way open. even with the 0.8 mouth to lung pod in there, get some pretty nice clouds. I do gotta say so myself, closing it all the way off. Do we get anything at all? Get a little something. Me personally, I would never hit it in the airflow all the way off, but I would probably find myself hitting it uh, about halfway airflow. Um, you know, if I'm just puffing up a storm in the crib or something like that, I might do it all the way open, but um, initial taste test, really crispy pod, plush, compact hit, great flavor. Um, bringing that out of that secret tiramisu, coffee, caramel, chocolate, yum. But I will update you on how my personal experience goes. Let's see where we are at. We are at 1,111 puffs. Hey, 
comment down for good luck. I gotta say the flavor in the pot is literally just like it was when I first juiced it up. So phenomenal consistency there. The tapered mouthpiece actually started to grow on me a little bit just because, uh, you know, it's definitely, it's definitely easy to just carry around in the mouth because it's kind of skinny at the tip. Pause. Um, but, um, Really the only downside is that the fill port is on the side. It's not the biggest deal, but uh, I find when I fill it up, I have to take it like out of the pod completely. Just, it's just a lot easier to pull up the rubber stopper. Battery life, I've been kind of going in on this device, on this pod, um, but I gotta say, it'll probably last me like a full three days. Granite, um, usually when the bar turns to blue, right now it's like pretty much at full battery, so. It's on a green light, but usually when the, the light's blue, like 50%, I just charge it up anyway. Um, but I would say if I didn't, it would probably last me a full like three, four days. Um, it's just convenient when I'm at home, I'll charge it. Airflow, I actually found myself hitting it at uh, full open airflow and then sometimes maybe halfway. Rarely did I go like all the way for like a super tight. I actually kind of like the uh, restricted mouth to lung on these, but the flavor on this is actually crazy. I don't know if it's the uh, tiramisu e-juice that I got from Indonesia or if it's these pods or maybe both. Um, however, I do got to say I've used that same juice in other pods and it wasn't nearly as good as this. These pods, it just like, it gives a nice sweet aftertaste, whereas some other pods are a little bit drier, don't have as much sweetness, as much flavor coming through as these uh, Oxfa Slim 2 Pro pods. But it's kind of crazy because normally, you know, I'll be hitting my disposables, but I actually found myself reaching for this. So it's like, probably the first pot I've had in my life where I actually preferred it over disposable. So flavors coming through. Um, I like the hit on it. Battery lasts a long time. The pod's phenomenal. Same flavors when I just juiced it up. So the consistency of the pods, I mean, I've been blazing through this. So 1100 puffs and I think it's been like six days actually. So, I mean, yeah, man, these are good, man. These pods are nice, but honestly, Gosh, I hate to keep saying this, but um, I think this might be my favorite pod system um, of the year of 2024. I got another pod system that I'll be reviewing soon, but already I already tried it. And uh, I think the flavor is actually better in the Slim Pro 2. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also my Instagram. Put that in the description, trying to build that up. Typically, I'll be putting content on there sooner than I do on YouTube. So make sure to check that out. And with that being said, I hope you have an extremely blessed day. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.